Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre, Popcorn Fan here, and in this video, I want to do another movie update for another popular horror movie franchise, uh, The Insidious Movies. There's, they're making a fifth film that's currently in development, and I've heard the official title for the new movie. It's Insidious, I mean, you can call it Chapter 5, I mean, it is that, it is the fifth film. But the official title for the movie is Insidious Fear the Dark. And what's interesting about this movie is that they're bringing back uh, the original cast from the first two movies. And it's going to focus on Dalton in college. So it's going to have that sort of angle of a coming-of-age story while at the same time uh, focusing on the Lambert family once again. And... Which is funny because uh, the, you know, the dad, uh, Josh Lambert, played by Patrick Lambert, he's also directing the movie. So that's pretty cool. And then Lee Wanell writing the story. And it's just going to be nice to be in this world again because I really missed it. It's been quite a few years since the fourth film came out, Insidious Chapter 4, The Last Key. And... I really like like the whole concept of the further and how there's this whole spiritual realm where all these spirits reside and going into the further. Um, I've always thought that uh, concept was very fascinating and seeing that uh, as well as returning spirits from the other films. <laughs> um, that will be also uh, interesting as I've heard like within the premise of this new film, like re spirits that used to, you know, haunt Dal Dalton will be returning to haunt Dalton and his family once again in this new film. So it'll be kind of cool to see the, the lipstick face demon again, you know, Darth Maul <laughs> and then also the, the woman in black spirit and I really liked the, the second movie, uh, Insidious Chapter 2, when it explored more of that spirit and that character, the woman in black. I thought that story in that film was interesting. Uh, Insidious Chapter 2 was more, had more of an int interesting story than it was trying to be a scary movie, because I didn't really think that movie was that creepy or that scary compared to the first film. Then, you know, Insidious Chapter 3 sort of went back to being more of a scary film and insidious chapter four also um was an interesting movie that focused on lynn shay's character who uh, i i also thought um was really well fleshed out in insidious chapter three insidious chapter four those two movies are kind of prequels to the first two films chronologically and it's, it was just nice to see her character getting explored more in the three and four. And then obviously those two movies were prequels to the first two movies. And Lynn Shea's character does die at the end of Insidious Chapter 2. So um, I don't think she, her character will be back in this new movie. But it will be re we will be seeing the returning family from the first two movies, which I really like. And... I'm definitely hoping that it will have more of that creepy, scary tone as the first film. I still think the first film is probably the best film in the series still, at least to me. Uh, the first film is still the best, and then followed by probably the fourth film, because I thought they were, did a really good job with the fourth film, and which was ironic because the fourth film, Insidious The Last Key, came out in, like, in the month of January, back in like 2018 which is kind of like a dead month for horror films. But it was a really good movie, though, nonetheless. Uh, so, favorites from best to worst. Insidious, uh, the first film, Chapter 4, Last Key. Then I would probably put Chapter 3, and then the second film. Because, like, I, yeah, definitely a I do think that Chapter 2 is a good film, but it is my least favorite film in the series. But yes, uh, really excited for Insidious Fear of the Dark. That's the name of the new movie. Uh, I'm really excited uh, because not only is uh, Patrick Lambert starring in the film, he's directing it, so that's cool. 
and I'm curious if James Wan will come back to the horror genre. I know currently he's working on Aquaman 2, and there's a lot of uh, stuff going on with that film. But yeah, I'm curious if James Wan will ever go back to directing horror films, because the first two Insidious movies and the first two Conjuring movies, some really good horror films under his belt, and it would just be really nice to see James Wan directing a horror film again. Uh, once he, once Aquaman 2 is done and eventually comes out, uh, whenever, <laughs> but yes, I'm really excited for Insidious Fear of the Dark. I'm really excited. So that's really, I think that's pretty much it for this update video. Um, not a whole lot to talk about really, but just, you know, kind of an interesting little uh, film that I'm looking forward to as well coming out next year because there's quite a few other horror films coming out next year. Uh, there is the Exorcist reboot that I'm looking forward to that comes out uh, in October I believe and also uh, The Nun 2 uh, that's also coming out next year so quite a few horror films coming out next year that I'm looking forward to so yes that should do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.